All right. And there's a song called um, I Get Five on it remix. I believe you're on that with Richie Rich and E40. Yeah, uh, what, you say, what you say about Five on it? Yeah, you're doing a remix version with Richie Rich and E40, right? Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be doing that in the show, man. I'd love to mention it. Yeah, there was a rumor that Tupac was supposed to be on the track, and he got cut off. Why was that, or don't you know? I really I really wish I did. I don't know, I, I know he was supposed to be on there. Yeah, I, I heard it. It was all over the internet or whatever that he was supposed to be on there. Because I came, like, at the last minute. You know, I, I don't even think I really wrote my first down. I kind of freestyled my shit. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I just came in and kind of got down and <laughs> did my third cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you been offered to perform on any unreleased Tupac albums or a- any uh, remix songs? Nah, you know, nobody, even, you know, except for maybe Mo, you know, Mo Prem got some things he wanted me to get down with him on. Mm. I can't have brother Mo, you know. Yeah. And he want me to do some things with him or whatever. But as far as further than that, nah. Okay. Can you tell us about being on the unreleased song? Do you have any rights to being on a remix or staying on a song? Or can they just override any decision you make? Um, well, me, you know, back in the day when me and Pac did that song, we didn't do no paperwork. You know, we just went to the studio. We was two homeboys, two friends, kicking it, uh-huh. smoking and kicking it and shit. We went to the studio and recorded. We wasn't tripping on no business back then. We just needed something to do, you know. We was just fucking bored of our minds. and was like, let's go to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Go record some shit. We didn't pick, we, we called cocaine to, to the set of the movie, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the last movie he did with, uh, James Belushi. Mm-hmm. We, called, we called him to the set of that or whatever, and, uh, um, and we left from there and went to the studio. We hung out on the set for a minute with, 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 with uh, James Belushi and kicking, and, you know, you see where I got the ball to wear the jewelry I was wearing and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, you know, hey, I, it was nothing, you know what I'm saying? But we kicked it, Pac uh, went and put all his jewelry on, and we, we got jeweled up and hopped in our Benzies and our, and our uh, Porsches and whatever, and smashed to the studio. Mm-hmm. And, and, and uh, took cocaine with us and knocked that shit out. And, uh, you know, he was like them going to Vegas. And I was supposed to go meet him in Vegas for the fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, kicking the taxi and all of that shit, but I, didn't, uh, I ended up not going. And then, you know, I hear that, heard about that shit happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm so it was like wow like what the fuck you know what I'm saying yeah you know and I keep calling and paging and calling them and shit and you know you we call back or answer the phone and say you motherfuckers think I'm dead nigga blah 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 you know what I'm saying but I've never got them calls back so that's when I start getting worried and tripping and shit you know what I'm saying that's my nigga or whatever yeah but, um, you know it was, it was just you know that was, that was my dude you know what I'm saying um, it was it was him more initiating our friendship and we was, we was, and before I knew it, we was closer than I thought we was. You mm-hmm. know what I'm like, that, that was my dude. You know, he used to come to the video. If I didn't call him for a video, that nigga would show up at the video and be talking shit. Like, like motherfucker, <laughs> you didn't um, call me for the video and shit. Nigga, I'm here, motherfucker, now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be looking at him smiling and shit. And of course, like, I'll, you know, I didn't know where he was at. Nigga, your ass be everywhere. You be in fucking Japan, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know. But that was my dude, though, you know what I'm saying? Why do you think that case still remains unsolved? Shit, man. It could be a, a, a million reasons why, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean... You did. Shit, it could be... It could be my, 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 uh, main, my, the main reason I think it might not be being solved is because I don't think the cops really gave a shit. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they really gave a fuck to go even investigate the shit. Well, our site did uh, some interviews with the outlaws, and, and they seem like they know information, but they don't want to speak out about it. Do you think that's right, or do you think that they just don't want to snitch? I mean, well, I mean, it's it's it's, um, it's rules to the game that 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 that, that, that apply to everybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? As far as as far as the streets go, um, whatever you know, you're not supposed to say that. Even to the radio or doing interviews or anything, you're not supposed to say nothing, even if you know. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. You know, um, that's vital information or whatever that they might um, know that that they might be having something to do with or whatever. You know that they might have, you know, um, plans to to, to uh, help find out who did it or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
So, and, and it might be wrong, you know, if they say something and it gets out, then, you know, you never know. Niggas can come try to get at them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's just like that in these streets, you know. It could be 10, 20 years later, and then we can come get at you, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they ain't trying to be up in the penitentiary or nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I guess they're just trying to protect themselves. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a strategy, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a strategy of the streets. That, that's that's probably probably why they kind of keep it quiet on that shit, you know. Mhm. Well, back onto his music. Is there a favorite Tupac song that you like of his? Shit, all of them motherfuckers, man. <laughs> I'm a hard Tupac fan, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you, you still know. listen to his new albums, or you just prefer his original versions? I like, well, I like listening to the songs that we, we that he recorded while me and him while we was kicking it on that. That he would show me when I, you know, when I got into the car with him, or when I came to his house to visit him or something. I like listening to those because those are the ones that have the mem- my memories to him. Mm-hmm. And then he showed them to me, you know. Even though hit him up is is a, is a rider, you know, you know, you know, he's dissing the hell out of Biggie. Mm-hmm. I hit him up, you know, he, he showed me that song when he first did it, you know what I'm saying? And that's, I got memories of when that, he showed me that, you know, and memories of when he's talked about the, um, the Machiavelli album, talking about doing the, uh, Machiavelli album and calling himself Machiavelli and all of that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I got those memories, but the, as far as when I, when he did the All Eyes on Me album, I was locked up, you know. <laughs> so. You know, when I got out of his cousin, like, mad as hell, like, man, we just did a whole fucking double CD, nigga, your ass, where you at? I felt like, yeah, I was locked up. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. Is, is that why know. you weren't on uh, All Eyes on Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Because I was wondering why you weren't on there. Or well, Machiavelli, you know, I had just got out when he finished Machiavelli. Oh, alright. So, you know, I had caught a few, few gun cases and shit and had to go do, do a few months and shit. All right. Uh, speaking of uh, the Machiavelli name, can you tell us what Pac said? Like, what? Well, why he wanted to change his name to that? Because a lot of people think he just changed his name to fake his death. Um, I think he had read about him or something. I ain't sure. You know, mm-hmm. I think he had read about him or and, 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 and seen what he did and admired him for his his um, intelligence. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> And how he played chess with the game like that. So he named himself Machiavelli. And, you know. Uh-huh. I mean, it's, it's, it's just like, you know, I mean, you, you kind of like, you know, he, he, I guess it was an inspiration to him. Mm hmm. You know, that the guy Machiavelli. Yeah. So, you know, he, he, he took that and ran with it and shit. You know, I, <laughs> that and I was like, yeah, yeah, do that shit is hard, nigga, run with it. I named mean, myself Bossolini shit. I'm like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, uh, when I think of Tupac, I think of his inspirational songs, and when I think of Machiavelli, I think of his dark, ruthless, cutthroat songs. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it seems like Machiavelli has his own personality. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, that. I mean, I agree with you on that. Because 